Hi and welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. <coughs> Hi and welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hi and welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. I'm here with Knitting Natter to help you learn to knit the easy way. Transition season can be fun because we're moving from one season to the next. And I mean, transition season really in comparison to how we used to describe seasons that's what spring and autumn are we basically used to describe winter and summer as the two seasons and spring and autumn have just been plonked in the middle because it's a bit of a transition and we don't know what to call it it's a transition time anyway but there really is a couple of months where you think winter hasn't quite finished and spring hasn't quite started so it can be a bit confusing I mean, we certainly I know that living in the UK, I could think, oh, I can wear my linen trousers today, really nice and warm. And then three days later, it's snowing. Knowing what activities to plan can be really difficult. So what do we knit at that time of year? <laughs> what do we knit at that time of year? I have, I have what to knit in winter and what to knit in spring. So what do we knit in between? What do we knit now? February, March, we're going to feel like our body wants to move more. It's going to feel like just getting a bit more active, a bit more creative. And that is the growth energy that we get in spring. It's, oh, I'm intrigued. I want to know more. I want to learn. Tell me what to do next. It's kind of falsified as the new year, uh, January the 1st. And possibly we're still tired and it's grey and we're really not in the mood. Possibly that's why sometimes the January goals fall a bit flat. If we kind of shift those and say, actually, I want to do them this year. I want to achieve that in the next six months. And we can just build up to a bit of a crescendo in the spring. A lot of people want to give up knitting at this time of year. So it's a really great time to say, actually, I'm going to put that habit in place. I'm really going to enjoy it. This is my time. I'm ready for the next step. So if you're looking for activity and creativity, it might be time to start decluttering your yarn. Certainly join the declutter because that's going to happen in April this year. Do sign up in the waitlist, but you can just start those with a few steps already. You can start using up the ends of yarn, knitting stripes, knitting small items, maybe for even gifts that you just want to put aside. If you have half balls or even miniature balls like this one, for example, one of the blanket patterns that I have, you actually use the leftovers from the blanket stripes to knit a baby beanie so that all of the yarn is finished. And that's just an example of what you can do yourself. Just rummage around and see what yarn ends you have and see which ones fall into the same bracket. Of well, that's all cotton of a particular weight, I will knit them all up into a particular item. If you have enough, you can knit a baby blanket with it. But if you only have small amounts, then you can knit lots of baby beanies. Or you can knit lots of dishcloths, but they all have stripes. Things like that. You can knit mug cozies, table mats, coasters, bracelets, hair scrunchies. All sorts of things with small amounts of yarns. Bookmarks. Some of the great things that I love. And if you're giving books a lot as gifts, give the bookmark as well. And if you have odd whole balls of the same brand and the same weight then you can use those in different ways. You could use colour blocking when you are making a jumper. For example, you could have one colour for the sleeve, another colour for the other sleeve, and the cardigan fronts could be different colours, and then you have the button bands in different colours. But they're using whole balls. The colour blocking will be a lot easier to knit. You won't have to switch between the different um, balls of yarn constantly. It will be a much larger piece that you knit with each colour. So the second thing you can do is make some kind of plan for yourself to finish all of the winter knits. This is a way to say, right, if I finish these works in progress, I can get organized. I will know that they're not sitting there waiting for me to carry on knitting next September. And you can just finish those off in the next month or so. Just put them away to actually wear next September instead of finish next September. You could well complete what you've already started over the last couple of months and if there are just little things that need doing like sewing up seams 
even just sewing an end or sewing on buttons, just could be those last finishing steps that you haven't done, just get them done now. And you'll be ready to use these items in six months time. Now, as I mentioned, spring is a time for growth. So if you want to invite that growth, how about you look at perhaps the plan that you made? Did you sit there and make a plan with me between Christmas and New Year with the Betwixmas videos? Those videos just gave you a guide on how you could plan what you'd like to achieve with your knitting over the next 12 months. So if you've already done a couple of those steps, you've knitted a few of those things, go back to that plan and see what you could do next. What on that list is about growth, is about learning, is about taking action? Be great for this time of year. You can get planning with those. You can make sure you've got the yarn. You can get the course ready and go through the materials list. You can prepare all the needles that you need and get yourself set up. If you, if you want to learn something new, then maybe you need to buy a book or you want to watch a load of YouTube videos before you say, actually, OK, this is for me. I, this is what I want to do. And then I can focus and find the patterns and the yarn or even the knitting kit that can help me start growing in my knitting. If you plan ahead like this, you can budget and you can save the money that you need to either buy the course or the knitting kit or the pattern or the yarn for the knits that you want to create for spring, summer th this year. Um, it's a time of year when a lot of the knitting and the yarn manufacturers with all the knitting books, the new yarns, the new colours, they will come out with spring patterns and summer patterns. So by all means go through them and say what do I want to be able to wear in the summer so I can get prepared and I'll be ready to knit that say in April or May. I can ready, get myself ready to start knitting that once I've finished all of my winter knits. Okay, so those are the three main things that I would suggest you do. It's recognise the different energies that we've got at different times of year and we're moving into the action, the growth, the learning, the creative time of year. And this time of year, with the transition, lets you prepare for that, lets you get ready. You can just start dabbling in things. You can start dabbling in the decluttering. You can start dabbling in moving through from finishing your winter nets into your spring summer nets and recognize that the winter nets are some possibly some things that you want to complete finding that completion can really really help the guilt chip moves off of your shoulder a little gremlin screaming in your ear you didn't finish that this year did you you can't wear it in september <laughs> it's there and you go, oh, I'm really worried. I'm going to get it out and I won't know where I am on the pattern. And what am I doing when I find it in September? You can knit it now. You can finish it now. You can complete it now. And you can move on to other things within the next few weeks. So just four to six weeks of finishing. It could be just two weeks that you need or even a weekend that you need to finish those winter knits. Done. Sorted. Now, let me just tell you quickly, it is the fifth anniversary of Knit with Hannah. It's the fifth year in a couple of weeks' time. On the 22nd of March will be exactly five years since I uploaded my first video to YouTube. Ah! And that was three weeks after I bought the domain, knitwithhannah.co.uk. So do come along for the ride. I will be having a giveaway. We're going to be having lots of fun over the next two weeks. Do be part of that. Do make sure that you're subscribed here. Get on the email list as well. I'll leave the link below so you can get on the list and make sure that you are there for everything that's going to happen in the next couple of weeks. And do let me know in the comments, is there anything that you want to finish knitting that is a winter knit before you move into spring knits? Right, thank you so much for joining me today. I will see you again soon. Bye for now. Happy knitting.